The second step in the home buyer's guide is to determine your goals for the purchase. So a really good example of why that's important is if you maybe intend to live in this home for a few years, but then once you're ready to move to a more permanent situation, if you wanted to rent that property, make it an investment property for yourself, then number one, awesome. Like I'm so glad to hear people are thinking that way and wanna help you realize that goal. But let's take a step back and kind of think about what's important here because financing could be important. Sometimes there are primary residence restrictions on the loan that you intend to use. There could be some neighborhood covenants or something like that that might uh, prevent you from renting that property in the future. So need to know that going in. Uh, the third thing might be what's the prevailing rental market look like uh, in that area so that you know that you don't overdo it, so to speak, with some of the upgrades that you make while you are living in the place. But also, can the future rent that you're able to charge cover your monthly note? And if not, maybe we need to put more money down or look at another part of town. Um, another thing that is important for knowing your goals of this purchase is getting everybody involved in the decision making on the same page. Because there's really nothing worse than not understanding with your spouse or your parents or whoever is helping you with this decision uh, what future things might be important uh, for this purchase. So um, maybe your spouse isn't on the same page of this is a five-year starter home versus a 10-year. We intend to bring some kids into this home. Or maybe We've got aging parents that, hey, eventually we might need to build an in-law suite. Okay, so there might be some covenants there that you need to check and make sure, can I build, uh, it's called an ADU, additional dwelling unit, on this property? Maybe, maybe not, okay? But if that is a future and a goal that eventually you might wanna try to do that on this property, you need to know that now. And you need to be on the same page uh, with whoever else is involved. So step two, determine your goals for the purchase. Save yourself a lot of headache and heartache.